Hey all, Russ here, RVA TV. Welcome, check it out. We are on Highway 31. We just left Grand Haven, Michigan. Wasn't that a pretty place at State Park? We're going up here to Muskegon, Michigan. There's a couple places I want to check out up here. One is going to be a floating World War II ship. It's like a museum. Should be fun. Then after we visit the ship, we'll head on down to the beach, check out, see what else is around this town. It's right on Lake Michigan, you know it's going to be good. Warm and humid, good old summertime in the uh, Great Lakes region. But look at the blue sky. We're kind of following the waterways. This uh, museum should be up here pretty close. Yeah, I found this online when I was uh, doing some research. Gotta stop. called Shoreline Drive here in Muskegon, Michigan. We should be getting close according to the phone. I think I see it up here on the right. And they should just now be getting open. Here it is. There it is. Look at that thing. World War II landing craft. Pretty cool. Everything's old here. Look at the old brick buildings. Barrel shaped roof. Go ahead and get a place to park. I think there's a, a fee to get in, but it, it'll be worth it. Look at that old timer. Looks like they painted it not too long ago. There it is few cars here. All right. Let me get parked. We'll go check this thing out. This looks good. Waterways right there. There it is. LST 393. Look at all the flags flying, huh? Nice. Well, let's go for a walk. Feels good to get out of that van. A lot of miles this spring and summer, huh? Alright. There it is. Wow. No fishing. Can't fish off the boat. <laughs> okay. Look at the doors on this thing. My goodness. They can pull up. Look at them things. Probably carried tanks and jeeps and all kinds of vehicles in it pull up the beach and they just unloaded. Wow. A lot of steel went into making these things. Look at them big looks like eye bolts or whatever. Man. Alright, let's go get checked in and see what we can find. Very nice gentleman, 10 bucks senior discount, 12 bucks otherwise. The first lieutenant in charge of the damaged control party, Agent Nance, forward and in 
A lot of World War II memorabilia, it looks like. Oh, wow, look at that thing. Old aircraft carrier. Man, this place is packed full of stuff. Huh. Not very tall. If you're tall, you're going to bang your head in there. <laughs> Old sailor uniform. Look at that. One of my uncles was a World War II veteran in the Navy. Old military rifles. Looks like women of the Navy in there. All their uniforms. Just a different time in history, isn't it? Good thing they keep this stuff. Can't forget. All right, let's wander around some more. They probably do group tours and stuff in here. Little model planes up on the wall. Looks like they're honoring their locals, service people. That's cool. Look at all of them. Very well done. Very nice. Very, very well. Cool. Let's see what else we can find. We're going to go up top, too. We're, we'll hike up there. See if we can't drive this thing. <laughs> Captain on the bridge. All, look at all the old charts. Waterways. Pre-dawn ops. Goodness. Beaches where this thing landed. Mm -mm -mm. Big flag there. Kind of warm in this thing too. There's no air conditioning. Look at this hatch door. Look at the size of this thing. Check it out. There's Muskegon Bay, I think they call it. Not sure. It's not the lake yet. That breeze feels good. Okay, what do you think? Let's go up top. All the sinks, all stainless. Mirrors, imagine. All the, oh, look at the bunks. Could you imagine all the military that served on this thing? That's where you slept, right there. Huh. Engine room. Bunk after bunk. This thing's long. Probably carried a lot of soldiers. More sinks. There's showers there. Alright. Let's keep going up. Go up to the bridge. Man, you can get lost in this thing. <laughs> Follow the arrow. Thank you. <laughs> There's the mess hall. Look at that. Yeah, I'll take some bacon and eggs. That's where everyone ate. Got their food. There you go. Here's a view. 
Wow. This thing is big. Solid steel. Amazing how they built these boats too back in the day. And even in modern times now they, they're massive. They're like floating cities. Okay, walk around the front. There's gotta be some steerage area or the what do they call it bridge. Looks like probably their officer quarters. Oh, that breeze feels good. It's kind of <laughs> warm inside this thing. They got some fans going. Can you imagine all the different places this thing's been? Huh. What have we got over here? Look at the guns on it. Must be the bridge up there. Well, let's go figure a way to get up there. I should have grabbed one of those maps. What a view, huh? No fishing. <laughs> it's okay. That's a long ways down to the water. We're, we're up here a little bit. All right, let's go in here. See what we got. Captain's quarters, here you go. He gets a good, good bunk. What else we got? Ward room, that must be where they had their meetings. Down that way, oh, there's a kitchen way down there. They got their own bathrooms here. Ah, stairs. Navigation, okay, up we go. We're gaining on it. Here you go. There you are. And here's where they steered the boat. Wow. Nice. Yeah, this thing's something to see. For 10 bucks, you gotta come see this thing if you're ever in this area. Especially if you're a history buff like the old uh, World War II stuff. This would be one to see. Full speed ahead. Imagine the guys all the way down the engine room. They had to be way down there where it's all hot and noisy. These guys up here, half speed, slow. Pretty cool instruments. You know, this thing is very well preserved. Oh, they call it the helm, okay. That must have been uh, sonar, radar, communications. Imagine driving this big old beast right up to a beach, beaching it so they, uh, all the stuff could get unloaded, the tanks and everything, and then big doors open up. I mean, there's a lot of boat. <laughs> ship, actually, there's a lot of ship. room they this is the old time Wi-Fi right here this is how they communicated well down we go
Those steps are pretty steep. Back through the bunk area. You can imagine this ship rolling up and down on the waves and you got to stay in that bunk. <laughs> oh man. Oof. The fan feels good. It's pretty warm in this thing. Still worth it. Well, very well done. I mean, my hat's off to these guys. They've really, uh, there's a big effort here putting all this together and keeping it going. Hope people support this and it stays here forever. we checked out this side yet more uniforms yeah there's the front canines that served memorial to them a lot of forgotten history huh old jeep that's how, what they carried on here, probably. But still, to drive this thing up to a beach and open the doors and then unload. Oh, man. Wow. Very powerful. LST 393. Floating museum right here in Muskegon. Michigan. Stop and check it out if you're ever in this area. All right, go back, get on Shoreline Drive. Gonna go find that Muskegon Beach. It's supposed to be another floating, uh, I think it's a submarine or something. Go find that to check out. Yeah, temperature, it's picking up pretty good now. Okay, we're on our way. According to the phone, looks like we got about three miles to get down to uh, the lake itself. Do some zigzagging. Journey continues. Talk soon.